What's going on YouTube family? So please forgive me for the audio. I know you listen like dude. What audio? You sound great. Not in this interview. I didn't have any of this equipment. I my iPhone overheated, my GoPro overheated, the microphone I had that was set that was uh designed to pick us both up. I didn't have a dead cat on it, so it picked up a whole bunch of wind noise. So I'm putting this interview out because he said, hey, go ahead and put it out. I'm going to have to re-interview this brother again so I can give him a better interview. I don't like the audio quality, and there's no way for me to get around it. It's just not going to sound the best. Yes, I'm super fat in this video talking about healthy stuff. Uh, yes, I'm super fat now. All right, it is what it is. Uh, and I don't mean that in a good way like this. It should be like that. It's uh, At that point in time, I had started blooming back up and eating trash and trying to get back right. So check out the video to Mazizi M2. I'm going to have to get you back out there, brother. We're going to have to get it right with the new equipment. All right, peace and black empowerment. What's going on, family? It's your boy, Big Vic. Welcome back to My Black University. You see right here, we got two wonderful brothers with us. We got the CEO and founder of Fruit Caves, Mazizi Mati, and that means what? Uh, rooted tree. That's why I hate it. That's what's up. And we got... About the tree branch, yes, sir. And this brother has been an advocate for fresh fruits and vegetables, growing on you growing your own food, so you know what you're getting. Stay away from them uh, unseeded quote fruits, <laughs> unseeded uh, veggies, and all that GMO nonsense. You can do it at home, and you know they'll they're willing to lend a hand. Of course, you know you have to break bread, you know, because nothing's free in life like that. But they're gonna get you right. Every time I've had his. Uh, his lemonade with the sea moss has always been bomb. From the first time I met you at the, uh, I think it was the Malcolm, Malcolm X Day. I want to say yeah. that was uh, about two years ago, right? I want to say it was longer than that, bro. I want to say it was like 2019 or 2020. If I'm not mistaken, bro. Prior to it probably was. I think it was before. I think it was. I think it was before the pandemic or like right when the pandemic ended. So it was either 2019 or 2021. Yeah. And it's been consistent. <laughs> it hasn't it hadn't changed. If anything, it's gotten better. Right. So uh, you, you actually reached out to me. Uh, I've been trying to do better by getting you guys real people who are doing the things that you want to do so they can game you up and tell you how to get right, stay right, and be prepared for whatever is going to happen so you don't even see if they're lacking with your family. Right. And don't mind the birds in the background. Uh, that's dinner. <laughs> 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 All right, brother. So you've been doing, you've been growing your own fruits and veggies for how long? Oh man, I've actually been only growing my own food for about two years, man, three years now. Okay. Um, and mostly what we grow is leafy greens. Uh, actually, I was gonna put some down today because we just got our first rain in a long time yeah, in, in so, Dallas, you know. So, so fall is coming. Yes, sir. So it's time to put that fall stuff down. So we're gonna put down some. Uh, I got some Swiss chard. I'm gonna put down. I got some uh, some lettuce. I got some kale. I got some uh, some beets I'm going to put down the ground. We're going to do some potatoes. Um, and you know what? I'm actually, it's kind of too late. Well, it's never too late. Um, just like the people who planted their watermelons late. They yeah. still got watermelons now. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. So it's never too late. But I'm going to plant some pumpkins as well. Okay. You know, uh, a lot of squashes. We eat a lot of squashes. Like, That's what's up. That's what's up. So I think people try to overcomplicate going in with food. They think, oh, if I live in an apartment, I can't. I just, I can't do it. It's impossible. But there's certain, there's certain uh, herbs and veggies and stuff like they can grow in a small compact oh, yeah. area. Correct? Oh yeah, facts, man. Uh, matter of fact, like those leafy greens I just named, you can grow them in the house. Yeah. You know, if you got it, well, obviously you need like a green light. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Not even a grow tent, but just a green light to make sure they got. It. Something that's uh, portraying as the sun. Okay. You see what I'm saying? You can actually grow those in the house. So what I like to tell people is, so uh, things you can grow in the house. Celery. Whenever you go buy celery from the store, you can cut it off the stock. You can put that stock inside some water, um, just the bottom, so you can get you a glass jar, jar like that, fill it up with some glass, get some toothpicks, place the stocks on the bottom, place it in water, and you your celery gonna grow back. You'll never have to buy celery again. Okay. Same thing with lettuce, like romaine lettuce. If you get it with the stock on it, you can cut that off the stock, place that stock on some water, let the roots get hydrated. Lettuce gonna keep just keep growing. 
So that's stuff that you don't even have to plant from seed. Those are things that you can actually buy from the store, obviously get your good quality, you know, um, and just keep regrowing, keep regrowing. If you don't have time or don't have the patience to actually grow it by seed. I recommend you growing it by seed, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. Okay. And speaking of seed, um, there's a brother who I met, I think I met also the same year. He's in Alabama, he's a farmer. I get, when I, he has, my daughter asked for some sunflowers. She's like, I'm gonna go plant some sunflowers. I'm like, okay, that's random, but right. all right. right. So I reached out to him. Is it best to reach out to a farmer, somebody who grows their own food like yourself to get the seed so they know I'm getting the real deal, not the one and done seed that I get in the store? Yes, sir. So um, always, so like I tell people, don't get caught up in the words, the GMO, the organic, the natural, the this and that. I just say, know where your food coming from. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? If you know the farmer and you know that person personally, they gonna let you know what they doing to their crops to make it grow. Okay. You know, it wouldn't make sense for them to lie to you about what they doing. And plus, you know exactly where it's coming from. And if it, and if they're in your community, that's one you supporting somebody who's cause you know farmer's not easy. You know, you, yeah, you support absolutely. you supporting a local farmer. You know, uh, that can be self sustainable. And then you also you you're getting those um, just like local honey. You're getting those the good, the good uh, properties from your area, from the soil in your area that resonates with you. So when people, the reason why people like local honey and local produce and different things like that, is because the bees, whenever the bees or whatever the pollinators are, like when they pollinate it, they're pollinating it from things, from things that are in your city, in your area. So that's going to be more good for, for you. It wouldn't make sense for me to be eating local honey from Alabama. Okay. I'm not in Alabama. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. The pollen that's in Alabama that might not be here. I need what's grown in my city, in my facility. So, um, yes, always know who you're getting your seeds from. I would recommend, you know, getting it from somebody local, somebody who grows their own food so they can know what they put into it. And they can also educate you at the same time. They can educate you. They can teach you how to um, properly store those seeds and keep those seeds for mm. a further on generations down the line. You know, because I feel like that's one important thing. You see what I'm saying? Like, right now we chasing after uh, money, you know, gold. Don't get me wrong, gold is, a, is you know, uh, yeah, right. is, is definitely valuable. But what I feel like is going to be the, the currency, the, what everybody's going to be going to war after, cities and countries, it's going to be seeds. It's yeah. going to be organic seeds. Bill Gates did buy up a ton of farmland in America. He ain't just starting with that. Yeah, he, he, over time, he's been doing that. And we see, though, with the, the black farmers where they try to, uh, they, they bought, like, what, 20, 30, 40 acres or something like that, the farmland. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they started having issue after issue with the local PD. We saw that the brother who was suing, uh, who I think he was suing the government because they're supposed to do uh, some type of assistance. Yeah. And he didn't get nothing. Like, all these other groups that don't look like us, they get assistance. Right. And, but he's the one who, who pushed everything in the forefront. So... Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it seems like if you're black and you're trying to form, you're trying to do right by yourself because, you know, we talk about, oh, you black folk, y'all, and I'm diabetes and high blood pressure. Okay, I'm going to grow my own food, eat right. right. Well, you can't do that either. Right. It's like, dang, okay, six right. in one hand, half a dozen in the other. What are right. we doing? Catch me too. So I think it does make sense to support your local. Like I said, I, I knew he was forming time, and I knew, I knew you were growing your food, but I didn't think to reach out to you at that time. But, um, I did reach out to you this over the summer because my waterman guy that usually comes to Fort Worth, his brother who used to come, he wasn't here this year. Right. And I was like, I don't want watermelon from the store. Right. right. I don't know what's been grown. Right. You don't know if it's got seeds or if it, if it does have doesn't have seeds. And then when I saw you post, hey, we got the watermelon, I was like, oh shoot, okay. Yeah. And we just never got a chance to link up like I wanted to, but I know you do it. So if he's not there, I'm coming to you. Right. And to it, if I sometimes I might just come to you and him just to support because. Uh, lip service is no service at all, family. You can't just say, hey, man, you're doing a great job. Sometimes, spend the bread. You hey, you can taste the difference. Say that louder for the people in the back of the <laughs> Who don't lip, understand what that means? Lip service is no service. <laughs> when you put put your money where your mouth is. I'm talking about if you want some of the best, that, that crisp crunch that comes with fresh watermelon that ain't been grown with all the pesticides and herbicides and all this other stuff, there's no other taste like that. You eat it and you're just like, oh, it just takes you back and you want to get some more and it's worth the price you get what you pay for right you wouldn't you wouldn't get an s class that was 20 bucks all right so facts i want to piggyback on that bro before you um i don't mean to mean to cut your wisdom but um 
yes, you're right. You pay for what you get. But at the same time, what I'm trying to teach people is, oh, if you feel like this is too expensive, why don't you take these seeds, dry out these seeds, and regrow them yourself? So you ain't got to come back and see me. Mm -hmm. That's my whole purpose right there. I don't want you to, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like making money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always. I ain't going to turn it down. But really, I'm trying to implant something into you. That's why they call me tree. Yeah. I'm trying to sow a seed. I'm trying to sow. I'm cool. trying to give some some deep roots for you. Like, this not just for me. This is some. You can take these seeds, dry them out. Or if we sit in the season, season like I got watermelons growing up right here behind us. That's, that's just from, that's just huh? from like, just throwing watermelons out here. With the seeds and they just grow. Like you said, people are overcomplicated. Put it in the ground. Let Mother Nature do its job. Go out there and love it like you love your kids. Go out there and talk to it like you talk to your grandmother. Mm -hmm. Go out there and water it like you give yourself water. Rather you drinking water or you taking a bath or you taking a shower. <laughs> Y'all, this this tea. He hooked it up. <laughs> hooked it up. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, so that's that's what I like to tell people. So get your seeds and grow grow it yourself, man. Try, try to. But folk are lazy. Facts. And they like convenience. And they like, Facts. they like the the quick food. Like uh, my grandfather used to tell my, my dad, when he, you know, back in the day, we, we call it fast food, he used to call it quick meal. It's like, it was quick, quick, quick meal. And you see what quick meal gets America's, America the whole, you know, especially us, us black folk. We all big. You see my midsection. Right. The biggest I'll get out. Stress, then eating, then eating the wrong foods because we don't take the time to sit down and say, let me let me grow and let me be attend to the plants because I think we do need to get to that because that will help us slow down. I, I yeah. don't think there's a slow down mode for us. Thanks. And I can speak for myself personally. I'll be up to three o'clock in the morning trying to edit. Let me edit this one last video. Yeah. I got to do this. I got to do yeah. that. I got to do this. Yeah. I don't get time to wind down. I'm adding more stress. My stomach's staying big. Like if you look at the rest of my body, my stomach don't match the rest right. of my body. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Humpty Dumpty. And I can I can admit that because. I am type 2 diabetic, and I understand that that we we sometimes put ourselves in a perpetual cycle of bad living. So when you right. say like, "Hey, you know," it's not like a, a, a like a, I know you can't do it. It's more like a challenge, like challenge yourself. Right. Challenge yourself to live healthy, and that's something I do want to start getting into. And of course, I'm chopping up with you, and we might do a second um, a second interview, like a breakdown on what you do. Put it on your channel. Put it on your your page. So. Folk can see it and get the step by step because right. I'm, I'm learning, brother. A lot of folks don't know how to do the basic things <sighs> to take care of themselves. Tell me about it, bro. <laughs> tell me, tell me about it, bro. Like at the at the end at the end of the day, they done retook everything and re and remixed everything and rewatched it. You know what I'm saying? And it took our knowledge, rewatched it, and gave it back to us, sold it back to us. Yeah. Really, you see what I'm saying? So. It's not really for us to know. They've given us all this technology and all and trying to keep us with the sports and the music and the entertainment so we don't get out here into nature and learn how to do what we need to do to stay alive. Because whoever controls the food controls your life. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Because you can you can have the best paying job, be the best athlete, the best artist, whatever. But if you still want to go buy that food from that man, he really got control over your life, your mm, kid's right. life, your next generation, really everything. You can spend your money how you want to, but what you consume it is actually going to come to him. And I was actually watching a documentary yesterday. It was saying saving blue zones. So blue zones are areas where people live you know where they got a lot of people to live to be 90 80 100 110 105 years old and don't quote me on this but majority of them do the same thing so like how you said you up at three o'clock at, at night and those blue zones they wouldn't do that they get up early they do what they need to do. They stay active, so they're not getting up, working out. They're not pumping iron. They're not working out. They're getting out. They're doing some light, strenuous activity, you know, maybe for five, six, eight hours. They wind down. They have family time every day. Every day. They have family time. Some of them drink wine every day. You know, so it, it wasn't even so much of like, they did have good diets. Some of them ate meat, you know, and, and 
different things like that. But I felt so more as like the ritual, what they doing, they had a purpose to stay alive. You see what I'm saying? Because they, they had to, hey man, we gotta get these crops done so they can grow in for the next season or whatever. That's they that's they mindset for the day and for the next day and for the next day. But we only gonna do this shit for six hours. You see what I'm saying? And after that, we're gonna have some family time. We're gonna sit down and they all ate together, bro. Man. They all ate together. That's that's what I'm just just how many families, how many of our families actually sit down at a table and eat. Without the phone in the hand, the tablet, <laughs> one try to play the game. And have a conversation with each other. While yeah. we talking and while we eating, I'm not going to consume as much food because we talking and we eating. Or I'm not going to eat it as fast because we talking and we eating. Which I, right. which I was told is better for you to slow, let your body catch up with your stomach. Your stomach, what you, you consume, exactly. consume, consume, and you think, oh, okay, I'm good. Well, your stomach hasn't much to how much food it has to get. Right. It takes a while, so that's actually a lot better. And I heard, like you said, they, um, I, I think my buddy was telling me about it's, I think it's like in Greece, it's in Europe. They eat a lot of sourdough, they eat a lot of stuff that has, that helps their body yeah. process their food correctly. Right. It don't just sit in their gut for days. And like you said, they don't just sit and eat the quick meal and just to keep running. Right. Eat something quick and keep running. They, they sit down, enjoy the time, and, and that's dope. So, and they're actually working too. They not, you know, they not sitting on their phones, sitting on their couch. They not ordering food from Uber Eats. You know what I'm saying? Consuming, just chilling at their desk. They actually putting in some work. They preparing their food. They prepping their food. So that's just like I like to say, back in the gap, he was like, man, our people used to eat meat. I'm like, yeah, you're right. They used to eat meat. They used to hunt for it too. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They wasn't chilling. They wasn't just chilling in the bed. You know what I'm saying? Having their wife make them something to eat. You know what I'm saying? They had to run, sweat, get that animal strategically planned for it. You know what I'm saying? They had to do a whole, a whole bunch of stuff went into their meals. By the time they got that meal, they was hungry. It was time for them yep. to eat. They yeah. weren't just eating because... It's there. It's there. <laughs> I, you know what? I think some people call me weird because my refrigerator is not full. Yeah. I, I eat what I need. Because the other man, you waste all that food. I, I'm, I'm, I do that. <laughs> they look, I, I, I got enough chicken grilled, and I, I try to do it on grill. Try some way from grease, fire, and right, it. Right. And I get my veggies, I roast them in the oven. Right. I put them on season on them, and then I try to eat that. And then once I'm finished with that, okay, this time I want fish. Right. Or this time I want, you know, something different. Right. Or I, I might get a burger, but I try to cook it at home and right. eat what I need. Right. My refrigerator does not stay full because that's, people put $200 in their refrigerator every two or three days, and they throw away 150 every two or three days after. And I'm like, I, I, that's insane to me. I can't right. do it. I mean, with that, I don't know where you're going with that, but with that, if, if people, if that, if you are doing that, if that's you and that's what you're doing, um, and you live in a apartment, get your little compost bin. They sell compost stuff that you can set on your counter. You can put all your scraps, all your coffee grinds, your tea bags, all that stuff in there, and then it, it uh, um, break down into compost. You know, which is plant food, plant medicine, pretty much. Well, not plant medicine, but plant food that you can give to your house plants and the other stuff that you're mm -hmm. growing to give them the good minerals and nutrients that they need. If you got land like me, uh, shit, go dig your hole somewhere and throw all your all your stuff in a hole. Throw all your stuff in a hole, cover it with some leaves. You know what I'm saying? Go piss on it every now and again. You know, like for real. You know, grabs. All your coffee grinds, your tea bags, all that stuff in there, and then it, it'll uh, um, break down into compost, you know, which is plant food, plant medicine pretty much. Well, not plant medicine, but plant food that you can give to your house plants and the other stuff that you're growing to give them the good minerals and nutrients that they need. If you got land like me, uh, shit, go dig your hole somewhere and throw all your, all your stuff in a hole. Throw all your stuff in a hole, cover it with some leaves. You know what I'm saying? Go piss on it every now and again. You know, like for real. You know, put that uh, nitrogen back in it. You know, um, burnt ashes. You know, and this and this is I'm telling you stuff that you don't have to go buy. You ain't gotta go buy no piss. <laughs> you ain't yeah. gotta go buy no burnt wood ash. I mean, you can go buy you some worm casts, and you can go buy some worms. You can go buy different stuff to feed. But I'm showing you how to do. It. People are like, well, I don't, I don't got, I don't got it. Well, I'm gonna give you a, a way to if you don't got it. You know what I'm saying? When it, I wouldn't piss on it every day because you can't burn it up, but you know, get you some leaves that's already outside, man. Go burn you, burn you some sticks, and with all them ashes, put that down on top of that food and let it and let it break down how it would. You know, if you had some animals or anything that passed away, bury them, man. 
Bury them. Let them break down. Mother Nature gonna take care of it, and it's gone. You'll be able to reuse it. You said piss on it. Like right, that's interesting to me. We're not talking about the person who drinks Hennessy and coffee and drinking cold all the time. We're talking about the person who actually drinks water. If I say body out, like does that does that matter? Like how acidic the, the urine is? Nah, your liver gonna do what your liver gonna do. Your liver is gonna, you know, well, if it's working properly. And the reason why I'm saying that is because shit. And like I said, I'm just going off of what you got, what you do have. But you still gotta make that conscious decision, like, hey, I'm growing my food, this is where I'm growing my food, do I really want it to have, you know? So it's like your decision on, like I tell my kids all the time, what you eat can't make me shit. So like your decisions, what you wanna do with your food and the right. stuff that you intake in your body and the decisions that you make in life is not gonna affect me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just putting the information out there. If you know you drinking, Beer, Hennessy, liquor, tequila, all day, every day, no water, no nothing. And you want to, you be like, oh, I want to grow my own food. You want to use your urine? Have at it. Okay. I ain't going to be eating it. <laughs> You're You're you know what I'm saying? But you should make the more constant decision. Decision like, if I'm going to be growing my food and I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, using this for nitrogen, you know, I'm obviously want to make sure I'm putting some right things in my body. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like to tell people what to do. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, what inspired you to start Fruit Caves? Uh, him. That's, you know, that's all him. You can answer that right there. Yeah, so, Fruit Caves, it was, um, so obviously it's a family business, and it was, it was a family idea as well. Um, it was more of, it was more of me and my sister doing things in cahoots of what my dad was starting to do, what he was starting to become. He was going from from what people knew him was, Marquise, he was growing into a tree like like his name is, growing into a tree. And he was he was I think he was vegetarian at first or he could have been vegan. But we was we was seeing him do those natural alternatives to things and whatnot and seeing how it, it affects people and whatnot. It makes people change for the better and do things for the better. It was like we should just put this out into our community and see where where it go from there. We did lemonade because um, just just it's easy. It's it's what kids was thinking about back then. Lemonade. Everybody likes lemonade. Well, to my knowledge, everybody likes lemonade. Yeah, right it, 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 it can't go wrong with lemonade. And just that's how that really started was because of him. And he putting it back into us, and he the CEO. And he putting it back on us. He really. Did, Really, when we was out there in school, with not who was running the business, him. Yeah. So it's, it's it's really this guy, you know what I'm saying? And I, I beg the difference. It's really them. <laughs> I you beg know, the difference. It's really him. They had the idea, and pretty much, you know, they had the idea. Just like kids, all 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 the time, you know, they they creative. They have ideas. They play make believe. They kept on saying some stuff that resonated with you. And I'd be like, man. I'll be a fool if I didn't take a chance on my kids. Yeah. I take a chance when, and that's back when I was in the streets. So I'm taking a chance every day. Right. Just waking up, doing whatever I'm doing that I know I'm not supposed to be doing. So why shouldn't I take a chance on my kids? They got my bloodline. I know who I am. I know my potential and what I can do. They young. They ain't really been indoctrinated with a whole bunch of school and the religion and a whole bunch of BS shit, you know, something like shit. Yeah. I might as well worst worst thing that'll happen, it don't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. We know we always know how to get back to it. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe uh, I was at the FBA uh, expo a couple months back and Baba Kava said get your children to solar energy. Teach it them solar? About solar, yeah, he said teach them about solar. And mm. when Baba Kava said something, I tend to my ears perk because I was thinking about I was learning about it but he said I'm like ooh okay I think he sees something as I elder I think he sees something coming that we should prepare for and like I said worst case scenario alright we don't need it cool alright but you learn the skill because you learn right. to put the stuff together yourself right. now you know how to do something you can translate that to other things right. mm. people always need to that's a skill right. Right? we just gotta say it. that's a skill farming is a skill people gonna need to eat that's gonna people who like work. no matter how much it's people like hey slow down take care of your body they're not going to slow down. And they don't mind paying the money. I'll pay you the money. Right. You just go through. Right. Well, okay, well. Right. I ain't going to tell you no. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I, I will do that. <laughs> I got you. Know? you. <laughs> so, going forward, what do you want for Fruit Caves? And what should people know about Fruit Caves going forward? 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm, uh, since it's on my mind, I'm gonna answer first. <clears throat> we self made. Okay. I'm gonna say that. We self made. Ain't nobody give us no loans. Ain't nobody give us no grants. That PPP shit, we ain't, we ain't participating in that shit. Everything that we done done has been strictly off, straight out the mud, strictly hustle, strictly grind, strictly muscle. You saying resilience, dedication, all the hard criteria and qualities that a good business need. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I say that to say this. People might put us on a pedestal and people might see us for something that we are becoming, maybe not to be, maybe not, but is to come. Cause I'm never gonna say what we're not. You know what I'm saying? But People can really, you can really get out, get out here and get it yourself. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, possible to make it out. It's, it's, def it's definitely possible. And I'm, I'm kind of going around your question, like, what do I want for fruit cake? I just want to say, start with this. We ain't have, we ain't got no, no lenders. We ain't got no, no. We don't owe nobody no money for no loans. We ain't got no investors. None of that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, where I see fruit caves, every school every hospital, every retirement home, the yeah. army, post office, firefighters, everybody in the United States of America, kids, older folks, and people that's protected and serving should be able to have a healthy beverage for free. Hey. Every school in America, just like they're giving away apple juice, milk, bullshit ass orange juice, all this other stuff, you should be able to have a good beverage, natural, a good nat natural alternative, just for the kids to be like, either they do want it or they don't. But you gotta get let them make a decision. Make make their you gotta let them, yes. but you gotta ha let them have something on it that's gonna help them as well. Yeah. If they say no to that decision, that's cool. They had a decision. They had a choice. But to, for not for them to have it, like our people in the hospital, people that's on their deathbeds and these cancer places and uh, um, our old folks home. You need stuff that's gonna give them life. Right. You don't need stuff that's gonna strip life away from them. But you know, I, I understand big pharma. Yeah. I understand oh, their, their 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 agenda. I understand what they're trying to do and different things like that. But the government is built off. I mean, America is built off the backs of the people. So if the people come together, we can outdo big pharma. If the people come together and start growing their own food and start sharing seeds and start, and look, this is something that a brother told me yesterday. <clears throat> we gotta stop being so out front and so loud with our information. We not, we don't fight the same way they fight. Whenever we, we get upset, we wanna take it right to social media, even if we can be some real good game, but versus like, hey, psst, bro, yeah. woo, 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 keep this to us, but go tell somebody. Yeah. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. I keep this for us, but go tell somebody. Brother, you know, because once we start yeah. mainstreaming it, it's like CMOS. Oh, boom. Now, what what, what they going to do? Everybody has a CMOS. They're going to regulate CMOS. Or they going to start buying up these CMOS companies, making you think that you got a real company, but they done already been bought out from Big Pharma, and now you getting bullshit. What about these watermelons? Oh, yeah, they see the watermelons because they know that's what people want. How we know they wouldn't hit with a syringe before you got it? Right. <laughs> they like, oh, that's what these people want. That's what they going to. All right, so we got to figure out a way to still do. They got to figure out a way to still do they, their agenda. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I see fruit caves. Everybody needs to have this for free. It shouldn't cost. The government needs to be paying for this shit. The government need to be dropping a bag yeah. on us yeah. so everybody can have yeah. something healthy for free. <laughs> Straight they, up. They give money to Ukraine. <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't doing nothing for the community. And they give it to a whole bunch of illegals in New York. They ain't doing nothing for the community. Young brother, what you, what, what you see from games? Um, really, he, he hit it right on the head. Seeing it in, in everything and in everyone and giving it back to, to the people who really need it, which is everybody. Everybody needs what we got. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, the government should be paying for it because it's it's not something that they marketing and that they advertising and putting on to the people. They not giving them the, the good stuff, so it's up to us. We got to give it out and, and make them pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Use their money. That's how it is. So, so real quick, young man, how old are you? Uh, I'm 16. 16.
you got his, his skin is mad clear. That's how you know they eat eating right. His skin is <laughs> mad clear. When I was 16, I had bumps all over the nose, especially right here on the top of the nose. Like Rudolph's red nose right there. All over the nose, on the side of my head. That's, That's how real, you know bro. they eat eating right, man. That's I ain't, I ain't even right. think about that. You sure all right. So, I want to, I want to say this, and not, I'm, we're going to close it out. So, when we talk about the farmland and how they, they're regulating everything, I remember I came across an article where it said Walmart had filed a patent for robotic bees. What? He's going, I'm going to post that article. I'm going to post a clip up here. I'm going to find that and post a clip up Damn. here. And I remember seeing it. I was like, that's odd. What, what is Walmart planning to do? You know, with that. You asking me? You no, know, no, I'm just, I was thinking hypothetically because I know what bees function are. Yeah, right. They pollinate the other plants so plants can grow. They take right. the, the male, uh, uh, pollen from the males, take the females, and then you get your fruits, your veggies, right. that's how it goes. Right. So what are they finna do with the real bees if they're making robotics? So with that, with that being said, I'm glad you said that because that's my next venture. I just got rid of all my chickens. We used to have like 130 Oof, chickens out boy, here. Boy, that was... <laughs> hey man, I know that was interesting. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad they gone too. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man, because I don't eat, because I don't, I don't eat meat, and I had them free roaming, free ranging, so I wasn't, I ain't lock them up or nothing. They was, just, it was just chickens out here, you know, and they was laying eggs, but I'm pretty sure they was, they got so many places to lay, I couldn't find them, and that's why I was doing. I had them so I can get eggs. My Airbnb, my mama, you know, what I'm saying? so they can have a better source of eggs, you know, versus, yeah, versus from, saying, hey. Don't you do that. Don't you eat that. You know, I, I could be like, hey, well, I got a healthier source. You know what I'm saying? At least yeah. you can slow down. You know what I'm saying? Whoop, whoop. But uh, about the bees, that's our next venture, man. Uh, getting us some beehives back here. Yo. Um, that's really was my what I wanted to do at first, but my partner talked me into getting chickens. You know, so that's we had chickens, pigeons, rabbits, pigs, all that shit. <laughs> Okay. But um, but I'm going back to the bees, man. I'm, I'm gonna go back to what I what I want to do the bees, and the reason why I say that is because I I'm growing stuff, you know. So I need I need yeah. bees pollinating, you know. Bees will travel five miles each way and go grab pollen from wherever and bring it back. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So why he why they doing that? I don't know if they trying to pollinate them with some some bee. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 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 an agenda though. It's, it's, it's when I when you see certain things, you your antennas raise up. If you're yeah. paying attention, you're like, oh okay. And then they also talk about how the bee population is decreasing. Yeah. At the same time, uh, like the the food plants, all these food stores, uh, food processing plants, burn up. Burn up. And all of a sudden they talking about, hey, we okay, lab grown meat. I'm like, no, you didn't. Right. Because I remember what uh, Cat Williams, he had that joke. He's like, we know what clone me means. They'll be retarded. We, yeah. We're trying to get you that, <laughs> hey, but, but Cat Williams also said this, bro. He said, he said two things. He said, it's a shortage on chicken wings or some shit like that. He said that they said it's a shortage on chicken wings. They ain't say it was a shortage on chickens. Mmm. Mm. How is it a shortage on chicken wings, but you ain't say it was a shortage on chickens? Right. Mm. So it should be a shortage on chickens if it's a shortage on chicken right. wings. And then he also said something about oxtails. And this is something I've, I don't seen a lot of animals, man. I ain't been, I don't know everything, but I ain't really seen too many oxes, bro. Where are people getting all these oxtails from? Right, everybody got an oxtail business now, everybody. Where they getting all these oxtails from, bro? Is that, <laughs> is that an oxtail or is that a... Cow tail. Yeah, well, what is it? Peruvian. Yeah. Moose knuckle. <laughs> moose knuckle. <laughs> you see what I mean? But you know, it's it's, and that's where it goes right back to, know where you're getting your food from. Right, Whenever man. you driving, you going on these trips, or you just driving out the city or the country, and you see all these cows and all this stuff. Some people actually have signs that says freezer meat, which means like the cows that you see grazing on their property, they processing them themselves, they putting them in the freezer, and they waiting on people like you to come okay. by. Right. You know, that's a healthier, I'm not gonna tell you to eat no meat at all, but that's a healthier source of meat. You know, they out there grazing, they not being shot up with all that bullshit, yeah, yeah. They, not be, they, not, they not being kept in little containers, you know what I'm saying, they living a good, happy, joyful life. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is just the quality of the meat that people eat. Like I said, once again, I'm not going to tell nobody to eat no meat. I don't feel like right. us 
you know, especially us as being black people, are made, designed to even eat. You see what I'm saying? Like, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> All right, so how can people contact you if they want to get gamed up directly? You know, they want to say, hey, look, man, I'm going to pay for your time. Put me on put, put me on what I need to do on, on, on some personal one-on-one. How can they contact you? Oh, yeah, man, because I got a consultation business, so I can definitely help you out with that. Uh, you can reach out to me on Fruit Caves, LLC, and that's F-R-O-O-T. K A V E S L L C on all social media platforms. So that's gonna be TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snap. Do I have a Snapchat? No, I don't. But I'll make one since I'm saying it. All that stuff. Right. Uh, you can hit me hit me by my phone, uh, 469-427-5633, or you can hit the business line, 682-24 Fruit. F R O O T. So that's six eight two two four fruit. F R O O T. All those links be right below the like button. Make sure you guys check this all out. There you go, family. That is the video once again. Hey, um, and ZZ, if you want to, you know, run it back. Now that we got little microphones, we can put in the shirt, you know, in the shirt on, you know, on top of the shirt. Get that better, clear, cleaner audio. Comes with little dead cats and things like that. that you <laughs>